In today's video, I'm going to share a five-step process on how you can use your planner to develop good habits and achieve your goals this year. Hello everyone, Jennifer L. Scott here and Happy New Year! Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. I'm so excited for the videos I have planned for you for 2022. Of course we are all in that New Year's state of mind, so I thought that I would talk about goals and good habits in today's video. I'm very passionate about setting goals and achieving them. I personally have set a lot of goals in my life that I have achieved and it's a wonderful feeling, so I want to help you do the same thing today. I'm going to talk to you about how you can use your planner to help you achieve your goals. This is the method that I use, it's what I do, and I can't wait to share it with you. So most people have a planner, whether it's something nice and fancy like the one I have, which I will leave down below, it's the Day Designer Planner. I'll also leave a bunch of other planner resources for you down below. But you don't have to use a fancy planner, you could go down to Walmart and buy a really inexpensive planner. But I'm gonna show you how to use this planner to achieve your goals. You need a buddy, you need an accountability system, and that's where the planner comes in. So let's begin with the first tip. The first tip is to write down your goals in your planner. Okay, I want you to actually write them down. So most people, they have their New Year's resolutions, they have goals, things they want to achieve, and in their head, they're like, oh, I want to be healthy this year, I want to exercise a bit more, I'd like to lose 10 pounds, I would love to write a book this year, I'd love to read a bit more. You know, you have this list in your head, and you keep it in your head, maybe you tell a few people about it, but then it fizzles out, the motivation for that fizzles out. So I'm going to show you why it's important to write down your goals. I want you to write your goals down in your planner. So most planners have a page where you can uh, actually write down goals as like a goals page. This one does have that. Or if not, there's always a notes page in a planner, like a blank page. So use that page to write down your goals. There's two reasons why this is important. This Forbes article that I'm leaving down below shares the neuroscience behind how writing your goals down actually affects your achievement of these goals. And there's two reasons. The first one is external storage and the second one is encoding. So external storage. Basically, you're storing the information contained in your goal in a location and you can see it. So if you write it down in your planner and you look at it every day, that's going to remind you about your goals. You're not gonna forget them come March you're going to remember them. And it, it's funny, the article jokes, it even says it doesn't take a neuroscientist to know that you will remember something much better if you're staring at a visual cue, also known as a reminder every single day. So James Clear of Atomic Habits recommends this. Write your goals down. But this is the second uh, reason why you should, and it's a deeper phenomenon, the Forbes article says. It's called encoding. Okay, so encoding is the biological process by which the things we perceive travel to our brain's hippocampus where they're analyzed. From there, decisions are made about what gets stored in our long-term memory and in turn, what gets discarded. Writing improves that encoding process. In other words, when you write it down, it has much greater chance of being remembered. We want to remember our goals. We don't want to forget them, right? Okay, the next tip is purely thinking. And this is the fun part. I want you to look at the end as if it has already happened. So picture yourself achieving this goal, whatever it is. What does that look like? You could do this for big things and for small things. You could do it for something as big as publishing a book or something as small as cleaning out your linen closet. Okay, but picture the end. What does it look like? And what are the steps that you're going to have to take to get there? Which leads us to step number three, which is to write down all the action steps you are going to have to take in order to achieve the goal and schedule this in your planner. So let's take the example of writing a book. Let's say you've never written a book before, you would like to write a book this year, and you visualize the end, you visualize yourself having this book, okay, and having it published and getting it out there. Now, you have to ask yourself, what is it going to take for me to get to this point where I have this book? Well, obviously you're going to have to write it, right? So you need to take the action steps of writing it and schedule it in your planner so that you can hold yourself accountable. So for a writer, for example, that might look like you scheduling one hour a day, five or six days a week, and make it realistic. Put it at a realistic time in your planner. Let's say you have a big family. You could wake up at five and you could start writing from 5.30 to 6.30 
every day before your family wakes up. Put that in your planner if that's something that you wanna do. Let's say you wanna be fit and healthy this year. That's one of your goals. Well, visualize yourself looking fit and healthy. What does that look like to you? And then you're going to ask yourself, okay, what do I need to do? What are the action steps I have to do to get there? So let's say you wanna schedule a 20 minute walk every day and you wanna do that at five o'clock in the evening. So in your planner, you're going to write down at five o'clock every day, go on a walk, okay? So you're going to put that in your planner and actually schedule it. This is going to hold you accountable. Also scheduling the action steps in your planner will also consistently remind you about this specific goal. You're not going to forget about it. <laughs> Even if you write your goals on the notes page and you never look at the notes page for the rest of the year, if right now you put go on a walk every day at 5 p.m. You're going to see that on your daily planner every day to remind yourself of that goal. The next step is to set a deadline for you to achieve this goal and mark that in your calendar. Let's take the example of a linen closet, something small like that. Let's say you've had this linen closet and it's been driving you nuts. You want to go through it and organize everything and fold it and make it beautiful. So instead of mentally beating yourself up over it every time you go get a towel, I want you to schedule it in your planner for the deadline on when you want to achieve this goal by. So let's say you're gonna give yourself three weeks, okay? So three weeks from now, on the calendar page, write a uh, linen closet due or something like that. Give yourself a, a deadline. And then leading up to that, that's where you write your action steps. So let's say three days a week for 10 minutes, you go in there and you sort through the linen closet. Okay, you're probably going to achieve your goal even before then, but it feels really good to set a deadline. And you know, when you have a deadline, you really work hard. Think about if someone's coming over to your house, you might be procrastinating all day about tidying up, but the minute you know someone's coming over, you're like Speedy Gonzalez all around the house, tidying it up and you get it done so quickly. So give yourself a deadline, both for small goals like the linen closet and also bigger goals that you may have, career goals or things like that. Put a deadline for when you want to achieve the goal by. And tip number five is to actually do the action steps. So you wrote it down in your planner, right? You wrote it down, pen and paper in your planner. Now don't ignore it. Open your planner every day and look at it and commit to actually doing it. And after you've done it, check it off in your planner. Get into the habit of consulting this on a daily basis. And when you check it off, you feel so good. And it may feel like you're not achieving anything because it's just little bites at a time. But in the big picture, when you do this, you are developing a good habit. So let's say one of your goals this year is to read five classic books. You've always wanted to read classics like Jane Eyre or uh, maybe a Jane Austen novel or something you've never read before. Okay, so it's time to schedule that. And what does it look like, okay? And so you might schedule in 30 minutes before bed, you read. And instead of watching television, you start to read now 30 minutes before bed. Do this, do the action steps, mark it off on your planner every day, and you're going to find that you've developed a habit here. And you might find that, let's say you do this for 30 days, that at the end of the 30 days, you don't wanna go back to watching television all night. You actually want to read a book before bed. So it's this consistent nature of writing it down actually doing it and checking it off that's going to help you develop that good habit. I'm going to give you a little bonus tip that has nothing to do with the planner, but I want you to be careful who you share your goals with because a lot of people have small minds and small vision. And if you have a big goal, they might make fun of you or kind of cut you down, which might make you question yourself and whether or not you can achieve this. I'm here to tell you that you can achieve your goals and that you should be thinking big, okay? So if you know someone like me who you think you could share your goals to and they're going to encourage you, then yes, you can share it with them. But otherwise, keep your goals to yourself because a lot of people, they just, they just don't have the vision, okay? You can share them if you want in the comment section down below and this community is very positive and we will cheer you on if you would like to do that. But of course, you don't have to. But I hope that you found this video useful. These are methods that I use Use myself in achieving my goals and I have achieved a lot of goals in life that I'm really proud of and I have more goals that I'm going for this year so I hope that we can work together in achieving these goals I hope that you found this video helpful thank you for joining me here on the daily connoisseur keep calm and remain classy and I will see you in my next video goodbye